Okay, Ben, let's see what you got there. Let's see that optic. Come up to the camera, show us the optic. Careful where I'm standing. Yep. All right. right. So, what's that? Apollo Sun 509T. Okay, cool. How much shooting have you done with that? Barely any. Barely any. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good place to start. Actually, here, uh, show, show, make sure that the gun's clear. Actually, okay. let me see it again. Let's see what the, let me see. The, let, let me have the gun. I, I want to see yeah. what the opt, what, the, what it looks like. Okay, so it's got the uh, the 32 mm AOE circle with the dot. Cool. Okay, so you can close the gun, put it in your holster. All right. So why don't you come up to the table here, load up the gun, make sure your eyes and ears are on. Okay, why don't you back up a little bit more? Right there, a little bit more. There you go. I'll move a little bit to your left. Great. All right, so I want you to basically shoot the target right there. Go ahead. Shoot at the, uh, the little stop sign. The stop sign? That's, yeah, the, the small target. Oh, okay. The black stop sign. Shoot the red target. Get all three of them. Once you want to change your mag out. Put the next one in. Okay, good. Now I want you to holster the gun. Okay. okay. Now I want you to come out of the holster and shoot one-handed at the stop sign. Stop sign? At, the, at the hexagon. Go ahead. One-handed. Go ahead. One handed, shoot, stop sign. Okay. Go to the red target now, one handed, go. Good, excellent. So you're doing a pretty good job of getting that on target, one handed. So that's the main thing I want to see. A lot of times when people are working with optics, yes. They're, they're focused on perfect presentation. Yeah. Life doesn't always give you perfect presentation, so I want them to see how good you're going to be with that as far as getting on target one handed. What I want you to do is, got the center here. All right. I want you to load that up. I want you to put a mag. No, no, it's not going to fit your holster. Yeah. Now just put a mag into it. Okay. okay, good. Back up a little bit. Get into the camera. And I want you to shoot one handed at the stop sign. Go ahead. One handed at the stop sign. Bring your gun in, go to a low ready, one handed, back to the red targets. Low ready, one handed, one handed. I want you to put the gun on the table. Take out your pistol and clear it for a second. Okay, good. Clear it's good. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. You see that red ribbon over there? Yes. Okay, I want you one handed, aim at that, aim at that red tog at the ribbon. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, no, don't move your body. Oh. Stand still. Just aim it at, at the red ribbon. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, go ahead, aim it. Red ribbon, you on it? Yep. Okay, now I want you to shoot the, aim at the red target over there. Shift, bring it in, and go to the red target. Right. Go ahead. Back to the ribbon. One handed, back to the red target. Go to another red target. Go further out to the left. Go back to the ribbon on this side. Good. Put the gun in the holster. All right. Pick up the other one that has the 507. Okay. That's the one with the ACSS. Okay, good. One handed, go to the ribbon. All right. Go ahead. Go back to the red target. Back to the ribbon. Go to the red target. Next red target, that way, to the left, find another red target. Come back to the ribbon. Good, put the gun down. How do you feel about the reticle? So, tell, talk to me about it. All right, so definitely, aim and get more centered. Yeah, come close to the counter. Yeah, yeah. tell me. Aim and get more centered. I feel like the ACSS was definitely uh, easier. I guess the, um, the one on a 5.9T, that little 32 on my way donut, that one definitely I felt was a little quicker to get a uh, sight picture with. Uh huh. But I could tell it's probably slightly less accurate than the uh, ACSS reticle. 
Okay, so that's how you felt about it. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, yeah, throughout, actually, let's do a little, um, a little. I mean, we did a little bit shooting. Let's do a little bit more for live turn. Pick up the eight, the uh, the green one. Put one mag into it. And I want you to shoot at the far targets, the red ones back there. Help me get my ears out. All right, let's test that out as far as the accuracy. Shoot the small targets on the on the far side. Shoot. Both hands. Pick up the slack on the trigger. Find the wall. Gently break it. Okay. Right. Right. Aim. Find the slack. So that's a far target, so you gotta slow down your race shooting a little bit. Pick up the slack, find the wall, gently break it. It's not, it's not easy, especially when uh, we're good. Take out your gun, put the gun down. Take out your gun, load it. Yeah, put around, yeah, make sure it's loaded. Shoot the same target. No, no, say put another mag in. Oh, need more mag. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that one here. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Load one up. Okay. Go to, hit, the, hit the spot target. So when you're shooting, right? I know you got gloves on, so you're not as sensitive. Yes. But I want you to feel where the reset is, right? So when you press the trigger, oh, yeah. find the wall. Yeah, are, yeah. are you able to feel that through the gloves? All right, I'm kidding. Now the next thing is when you put your on one of these, you got the arrow, on the other one, you got that dot, right? When you put that on the target, when you press trigger, do you see it moving off target? A little bit. Okay. Do you see it moving consistently one way or the other? Uh, or are you just no. moving, bouncing all over the place? Mostly bouncing around. Mostly bouncing around. So, so here's the thing: that dot or the arrow, whatever you got on there, that's what's going to tell. That's what's going to give you the information that you need to know about what you have to correct. So, if you see that moving, right? Because uh, if you're shooting a, a big target that's that's close like this, yes. I mean, that's a big target. Yeah, you're going to go bam, 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 bam. You know, you can when you shoot the farther targets, now you got to slow things down a little bit. You know, pick up the slack, move the dot on it, press trigger, but pay attention to the dot. Yes. That dot's going to give you the information that you need to correct the next shot. Right? Because you saw it move one way or the other way, figure out how to stabilize it a little bit. All right, cool. Think about that for a second. Yeah.